I almost wish I had a white purse instead. I feel like that would tie it together. But I look like a walking Valentine's Day card and I'm kind of living for it. I don't think I'll get even close to 26 today, but who knows, I might surprise myself. Hello everyone, we are back with another 333 challenge. You guys really liked the first 333 challenge that I did, and I did say in the video that if you want to see a more colorful version, to let me know. So you did, and I am doing it. But I'm doing a little bit of a spin on it, and we will talk about that. So if you have not watched my last video, you can go see it here. But essentially, I did the 333 challenge, which I was told by one of you guys in the comments that it is no longer called that. That's actually the name of a capsule wardrobe challenge. But the one that is going viral, they are calling the 333 challenge. So there's a little bit of ambiguity with a the name there, but I am doing the TikTok, Instagram, like the viral trend of getting three tops, three bottoms, three pairs of shoes, and a couple of accessories, and trying to see how many outfits you can come up with. And I will say the last time I was shocked. I did pretty neutral colors last time. I did very earthy tones, just because I'd never done it before, and I really wanted to just see how many outfits you can actually make from those nine items. And I was able to make 26 outfits, which I am shocked by. I don't think I'll get even close to 26 today, but who knows? I might surprise myself. We will see how many we could come up with, but today we are doing a very like monochromatic or in the same color family 333 challenge with all pinks and reds plus denim because denim doesn't really count. So let's get into this. If you have not yet subscribed yet, make sure you do. I love having my little family here. We do everything from cleanouts to fashion to reviews to challenges like this. I love it here. I love you guys being here. And I also love that the light is blinking behind me and I can see it out of the corner of my eye. Sorry, I'll turn it off. So let's go through the items that I chose first. So starting off with the bottoms, I chose this really cute Amazon pink and red skirt. I love this skirt. I haven't worn it yet. It's relatively new, so I'm excited to see how I can style this. And then I chose red trousers that are also from Amazon just because they're bold. They're much more colorful than anything I chose for the last video. So I thought that was more of a challenge. And then I chose my skinny jean Madewell jeans. Last time I chose like a medium wash skinny jean. I'm trying to challenge myself even more because I'm a wide leg jean person through and through, but I've been wearing skinny jeans more often. So I wanted to really challenge myself and see what I could do with skinny jeans. So these are a much darker wash than I normally wear and they're skinny jeans. So that will definitely be a challenge. And then for tops, I have this Boohoo red bodysuit and this is like a pure red. I have this Barbie graphic tee that has a little bit of green. So I am a little worried how this is going to go. I just thought it was cute and fun and easy and something a little bit more casual. And then I have this Amazon netted top because I think it's super cute. Perfect for spring. Let's go through the shoes. For casual shoes, I chose my very dirty pink and purple and orange Air Force Ones. For my a little bit less casual but not too dressy shoes, I chose my white boots, which I believe I got off of Amazon a while ago. And then to really dress up the outfits, I chose these really cute pink heels that I believe I got from Payless. So because I'm not doing like a jacket or a cardigan this time, I did choose a couple of extra accessories, but I feel like you can do without this many. I just wanted to try all of them. I have a black belt, which I'm not sure if I'm going to use yet or not because it doesn't really go with anything else, but I brought it out just in case. And then the two accessories that I know I'm gonna use are this pink purse and this red purse. And then I just have a little red tank from Target. It was like $5 and I thought it'd be really cute to layer with. So let's get into to these outfits I think I'm gonna make like my guess is it's gonna be like 15 outfits but let's see how many we can make that's like being optimistic because I don't really know how much you can mix and match this but I might be surprised because I was very surprised last time so let's get started so normally I would start with the jeans because it's the most like neutral it's the easiest to match but I think I'm just gonna go in order and start with a skirt and see many how many outfits we can come up with with the skirt first and then we will move on from there. Here's outfit number one. I feel like this is a pretty simple one. It's just putting the bodysuit with the skirt. I used the white boots. I almost wish I had a white purse instead. I feel like that would tie it together. But here's outfit number one, pretty simple. That's what I go for, simple comfort. Normally I would say that changing the shoes isn't enough, but in this case I feel like it kind of is because changing from boots to sneakers 
completely changes an outfit and I feel like these sneakers I don't know how I feel about them ignore my socks I don't know how I feel about them with the top but I feel like with everything else it really goes together so here's outfit number two outfit number three again pretty subtle changes I changed the purse to the red one to make it look a little bit more elevated I feel like red just gives it classiness so I changed it to the red one and I changed into the heels and while I don't feel like the heels go perfect with the skirt I do feel like this is a cute outfit and it's a lot more dressed up than the other two. Here's outfit number four. This one is definitely a little bit out there because it's not the same pink. There's no red in the shirt, but I do feel like it works because I love taking something that's a little bit more elevated like this skirt and pairing it with stuff that's super casual like the shoes and the shirt which match perfect together and I think it really like it brings it all together makes it look like a casual cute but you actually put effort in outfit so here's outfit number four outfit number five again another super casual one for this one I paired a bralette under this that is a very similar color to the actual shirt I think this is super cute it's super like summery fun spring just light and bubbly while still being casual and super comfortable so I'm going to switch up a couple of things and see how much it changes it Here's outfit number six. I feel like this actually did change a lot. So I paired the red bralette under this, or it's actually like a red tank under this. And I showed a little peep of the shoulder by doing a one shoulder look. I added the red belt and I added the heels. And I feel like this is such a cute like little like beach date night outfit or just it's I feel like all of these look like I'm putting effort in, but they also look and feel super, super casual. Now all I'm gonna do to switch it to outfit number seven is switch the boots and the purse so that it's a lot more casual. And here's outfit number seven. All I did was switch the boots and the purse and I think it's so cute. It works really well together. It's super pink. Now let's move on to the red trousers and we're already at number seven. So I have a feeling we're gonna go above 15 which is surprising, but let's keep going. Here's outfit number eight. I feel like I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the shoes with this one. So let's switch out the shoes to make outfit eight and a half. Here's outfit eight and a half. I feel like this is a lot cuter than the white boots. I do feel like it dresses it down a lot. It still looks really fun with the red and the red. It's giving very like Barbie but like super bold and it's very out of my comfort zone but I kind of like it like I would never think of pairing these two together but I look like a walking Valentine's Day card and I'm kind of living for it so outfit number eight slash eight and a half outfit number nine I put the pink purse back I changed the bralette back to the pink one so it gives it a more chic look because I feel like the red gave it a fun look but this dresses it up a little bit more because it blends in I decided to actually tuck it into the pants this time and paired it with the heels I feel like it looks a lot more elevated while still feeling really comfortable and casual because it's not a professional top but this is outfit number nine Outfit number 10, and this might be one of my favorite ones so far, which sounds so weird because the rest of them were a lot more out there than this one. I just feel like the little tuck on this one brings the trousers back down to a very wearable le we level. Level is the word that I'm looking for. Very wearable level where it's not like too dressed up, like trousery. So I added the Air Forces with it. I'm not pairing a purse with it because I wanted a super casual, like on the go outfit. This is outfit number 10. Outfit number 11 is a very monochromatic moment. If you're into that, it's a little bit too monochromatic. Um, or I need your guys' opinion. Is this too monochromatic? Is it good? I don't know. Monochromatic seems to work for some people. I always shy away from it. But here's a very monochromatic outfit. Besides the shoes, the shoes add a little pop of color. But I have a few ways that I feel like we can break up these colors and make it a little bit more elevated for outfit number 12. Here is outfit number 12. I felt like breaking up the colors with a belt would be perfect. I just wish I had a different color belt. This I paired the shoes with the purse so that they are both pink. They add a little bit of a different color. Outfit number 13 is a little bit funky. I decided to throw this shirt back on over the bodysuit because I thought this high neck moment kind of gave it a cool like off the shoulder vibe. 
I feel like it's really fun, it's very different, it's very bold, and let's move on to the jeans. Here's outfit number 14. These jeans are super skinny, so they definitely give a different vibe from those of the other pants that I was wearing. I paired it with the heels and the purse, and I think it's really cute, it's really fun. Now let's make it a little bit more casual. Here's outfit number 15. Again, a few subtle shifts make the outfit a completely different outfit, so I changed it to the red purse because I don't have any pink left in the outfit. And I put the white boots on and I feel like I love the little skinny jean over the boots moment where it's just like barely going over, but it's still really cute. This is casual, it's comfortable. Now let's make it even more casual. Here's outfit number 16 and this is definitely like a daily outfit. It is just the bodysuit with the pink purse this time instead and the Air Force ones because I feel like the pink of the purse ties in with the shoes. And because it's the same color family, it doesn't look like why is she wearing a pink purse with a red top? So I do really like this outfit. Now let's switch into another top and move on to outfit number 17. This is another easy everyday one for outfit number 17. A t-shirt never goes wrong with a pair of skinny jeans. So I paired it with my Air Force Ones and just the Barbie tee. And again, I didn't put a purse because I wanted a super casual like get up and leave the house outfit for outfit number 17. Now let's try to elevate this a little bit, but I'm not gonna wear the heels with this top. I feel like it just doesn't mesh. So let's try to match the boots for outfit number 18. Here's outfit number 18. It's still super casual, super like get up and go type of outfit, but you just accessorized it a little bit with the white boots. I feel like it elevates it just the touch that it needs to. And with the pink purse, it just brings it all together. So this is outfit number 18. Here's outfit number 19. I decided to pair the red purse with the pink top this time just to give a little bit of a mix of patterns and textures. Unlike last time, I feel like I didn't have any patterns or textures. So I kind of wanted to challenge myself on mixing those. So here's outfit number 19. Here's outfit number 20 and this is totally down my alley. It is just the pink purse with the pink top and the Air Force Ones. So it is super casual. It's not anything like extraordinary it's very just like casual but looks really put together so i think i'm going to stop there i know i could pair the red top under this again but i feel like that was really meant for the trousers so that the red matched with the red of the trousers so i'm going to stop at 20 because i feel like that's a really good place to stop and let's chat about these outfits and that is it for this video i thought i would only be able to make like 10 to 15 outfits because it is so so like it's so many bold colors even though they're all in the same color family it's a lot of different textures and patterns and colors and color like variations so we had like a floral printed satin skirt with a crocheted knitted pink top and a floral design bag and also like a quilted design bag and like kind of a roughly style heel and there's just so many different patterns and textures and color variations to take into account when making these outfits so I really 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 wasn't confident going into this video but I'm actually really impressed and I feel like this is opening my eyes to how many outfits you can make from like three tops so all those times that you look at your closet and think I have nothing to wear even though you have like 20 shirts or 30 shirts or like me you have like a million shirts when you look at your closet and think that that's not actually the case you're just not putting them together right or you're not experimenting enough with how many different variations you can make with the same outfit pieces so this has really opened my eyes and i've really 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 enjoyed 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 doing this challenge so from the monochromatic one where we made 20 different outfits to the very neutral one where we made like 26 I want to say outfits if you want to see any other colors or if you want like a specific request or if you want me to do the five by five challenge which is the same thing but with five tops five pairs of pants and five shoes let me know down in the comments what you want to see next I plan on making this into a little series because I'm really enjoying it you guys are really enjoying it it shows how you can mix and match clothes which is right up my alley so this has been super fun I'm really excited to have started the series thanks mom for the inspiration so if you want to see more let me know in the comments if you have not done so already make sure you hit that subscribe button I would love for you to be a part of the family if you enjoyed this video hit that like button it really helps me see what you guys are liking and what you're not liking and if you want to be notified every single time I post hit that notification bell and I will see you next time bye